Welcome again on Igbo History TV. Today we are going to talk about Kiliwo in Wachuku. Please kindly subscribe to this channel. Kiliwo in Wachuku was for more than two decades celebrated as a homegrown Nigerian superman. Some of his legendary feats of strength included lifting buses, having cement blocks crushed on his head, and allowing cars to drive over his body. Superman Kiliwi Wachuku was the strongest man in Nigeria. Philip Emawal Kiliwi in action. He was the superman who was going from place to place to perform. People paid to watch him. I saw him perform at our primary school in those days. I think his real name was Mozu Zumachuku for something like that. I heard that Kiliwi was the nickname he got after a fight with a certain man. One commentator said. A great natural superman was Zumachuku, son of God. Kiliwi was a nickname he got after a fight with a stubborn man, thick man who refused to pay him his money for a truckload of cruises conveyed from the market to the man's home. He used to push a wooden two wheel truck with which he carried goods for people. Then, truck vehicles were not around or were not affordable. So, after dropping off the goods, the man would not pay what Zumachuku charged him, claiming it was too high. He tried to walk away and Wachuku grabbed him by the hand, insisting he must pay. A fight ensued and he pinned the man to the ground. The man's wife ran in and came out with a wooden pestle to assist her husband. Wachuku snatched it from her, lifted the woman up and pinned her on top of her husband on the floor. Powerless, she started screaming. Kiliwi Wachuku, Kiwi Wachuku, meaning Wachuku kill us. In the early 90s, we were asked to pay some money so that he will come and display his power. We gladly paid the money. On the day he assumed coming, we waited, we couldn't see him, so we left. The following day in school, some students that were patient enough narrated how he came, how he carried four students on each of his hands, and some many power acrobats. 